welcome to Nightly Reviews, where I, Dan Pencaldi, am your knight in shining armor. That's right. Um, you know, we all have routines, and routines are fun, man. I love routines. My dog lives on routines. You break his routine, and it's over. So I guess we're like dogs, you know? And I have preferences, obviously, in my routines, like Saturdays. Today is a Saturday. For example, I wake up, I have coffee with my lovely wife, and uh, <clears throat> um, breakfast. Today I had a piece of baguette, rubbed some garlic on it after it was toasted, and I put a little bit of mayonnaise, cut some sun ripened tomatoes and very juicy and all that, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of fleur de sel. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. And what do I do? I smoke my usual Saturday morning tobacco. Samuel Gowith's Bob's Chocolate Flake. Now, for me, that's a treat. All the time, I love it, you know. One of my friends, uh, who actually put that in my head many, many, many years ago. We were having a party in his backyard, and I, I, didn't, I wasn't conscious of routines. Plus, I wasn't conscious at that party. But anyways. And he said, yeah, man, every Saturday morning, he puts on Genesis Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Four sides of that. That's when we used to have LPs, right? And I thought, wow, look at that. This guy does that as a routine. And so, you get older and you have a lot of routines. Okay, one of my routines is like getting away from people, staying at home. That's a routine. One of my routines is uh, hopefully retiring. That's going to be another one of my routines. So I can focus on stu stuff like, you know, sitting down on the couch and smoking a pipe. And one of my uh, commenters said they, they've never seen me smoke a pipe um, on video. Well, I can't do it here because I'm inside the house. I've got games and it's cardboard and yeah, that, that, that smoke is just going to stick to it. And plus my lovely wife, uh, she can't stand it. That's what it is. Anyway, so a routines, routines. And I have, I don't know if this falls into routines, but I have certain houses I always go to. And I'm talking about tobacco houses. Samuel Gowith is one I always go to. Wessex is one I always go to. Dan Tobacco is one I always go to. Um, you know, Vaughn. Vaughn, I like very much Vaughn. Especially their, their, I forget what it is, and their dark flake or something like that, really nice. But today, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna talk about Wessex Gold Slice. Now you're looking at the box and you're gonna say, that's a pretty uh, uneventful, uh, un uh, ornate box or, or, or tin or whatever you wanna call it. Well, don't let the blackness and the whiteness fool you. This is a great tobacco. Uh, I forget the price, but it's not expensive. As someone said, it's a sleeper. And I mean, when you open it up, I just love the way Wessex crushes their their flakes. You know what I mean? It's all stuck together. It makes you think it's a little, it's it's aged or something. But I don't know how to read the age on this here. Anyways, what I got from this right away was sweet, tad spicy, uh, citrusy. A little woodsy and what makes it different than other Virginias well I don't know they put their spin on it they 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 steam it more they cook it more uh, heated more whatever it's it's I wouldn't say it's a it's a, it's not a light Virginia it's it's a medium Virginia and it's, it's just it's just a nice smoke to have much of Wessex stuff is really nice 
and uh, this goes without saying it's is, is a, a nice one too I like Wessex and I think it's an old house in in England somewhere but it's distributed by let's see here by the Arango Cigar Company Arango eh? and it's manufactured by McBaron now I don't know if Per Per Jensen has anything to do with stuff like this but it's nice associating as a, a, a blend with a per, with a person, you know, like Russ Willett with his fire. Uh, I forget what it's called, fire, but I never had it. But I hear it's great, and it's not available anymore. And Russ, you know, Russ is uh, what's that company for God's sake? Uh, John Cotton's like double pressed. Is that Russ? I don't know, but the Cascadia ones. I think it's Cascadia trail hiking and all that Russ has a hand in there it's nice it's nice so um this what kind of tobacco like what kind of a situation would this be in this is a situation where you say hey I feel like having a pipe now and you pick this up and you're not disappointed and your day goes on being beautiful But what would I drink with this? Nothing. Water. A glass of water. Sometimes water is good for you. Water is good for everybody. This is one of those uneventful, eventful smokes. You know what I mean? It's one of those, hey, that was good, man. That was good. Yep. This is good. Medium pipe. That's what you would smoke it in. And... Like I said, it's 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 a sleeper and it's a surprisingly good tobacco. Let's go to the stats, eh? I always forget the stats. Let's do it now. So the brand is Wessex, blended by Wessex. It says here manufactured by Sutliff, but Sutliff I think is owned by MacBaron. I think so, eh? So MacBaron owns Sutliff, who owns Wessex. Who owns the rest of the world? You know, yeah, you know, yeah. What can I say? The blend type, it's a straight Virginia. The contents, Virginia. That's it's a straight Virginia. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no flavoring in it. It's a flake cut. It comes in a 1.5 ounce tin. That's a 50 gram tin for the rest of the world. And the country is the United States and it's currently available. Really? United States, Wessex? But I thought it was from England. He no capish. He no capish this. But anyways. So let's go to the flavor and strength pro profiles. The strength is mild to medium. Because it has just that little spiciness. Just a little pepperiness. Just a little bit. There's no flavor. The room note. <clears throat> I want you to ask my wife about the room note. Eh? You'll get a straight answer. And the taste is medium. Perfect. Perfect. That's well said, well done, all kinds of wells. And so, that's my short Wessex Gold Slice Pipe Tobacco Review. My personal opinion, obviously. And just to put you gentlemen at ease. And Silvio. Silvio, uh, a Chifach. Chifach, Silvio. Uh, yes, I am a pipe smoker. Uh, I didn't take offense to what you said, because we're just talking. But um, you know what? <clears throat> Let, let's. I, I want to have this conversation. I want to have this conversation. You being a Romanian, me being Italian. You know, we're we're almost brothers, man. Huh? Chifac. Uh, also, um, yeah. Save you. Comment, leave me your email or email me at the Fokker Circus or Fokker Circus at videotron.ca. I think I have it in my about on the YouTube. And let's have a chat. Let's have a smoke. You know, I don't know what time it is over there. The difference in time. Six hours probably, yeah. Okay. Have a great weekend. Be nice to people. Be courteous. Courtesy. 
it's not hard, man. Not hard. You know, the courtesy, like, if you're walking down the sidewalk and some guy is eating a chocolate bar and he throws the wrapper on the floor, pick it up, tap him on the shoulder, and punch him in the face. Have a good weekend.